What is the multiverse? The multiverse theory proposes that our universe is just one in an infinite number of universes. There are a number of different multiverse theories, and today we will explore five of them. Infinite patchwork multiverse. This theory imagines an infinite space time which stretches on forever and where the elementary particles are arranged in every possible way. This means that every single possible universe that can be created is created. At some point, the arrangement of the particles will repeat, creating identical universes. The observable universe is the universe that we can observe from Earth. That is, light from the contents of the observable universe has had enough time to reach our instruments on Earth. The diameter of the observable universe is 93 billion light years across, and the space time beyond that distance can be considered to be its own separate universe. And in this way, the theory describes an infinite patchwork of universes existing side by side. The mass says that in this multiverse, identical universes will exist a Googleplex meter away from each other. Bubble universes. At the largest of scales, the observable universe displays an extraordinary level of uniformity. There are, of course, distinct structures in space, such as galaxies and stars. However, from a distance far enough away, all of space seems to look the same from all directions, similar to how sand in a desert will appear uniformly distributed if observed from a plane flying high up enough in the sky. This uniformity is explained by the theory of inflation. This theory describes the existence of an extremely turbulent space-time foam at the very beginning of our universe. In this quantum foam, there was a quantum fluctuation, an energy discharge, which sparked an exponential stretching of space, known as inflation, which led to the existence of our universe. The uniformity of space we see today exists because our universe began as a tiny baby universe which had sufficient time to interact and come to a uniform density of energy and temperature before the rapid expansion occurred. In this multiverse theory, inflation is not restricted to one event that gave birth to just one universe. Inflation is eternal and gives birth to infinite bubble universes. Membrane universes. Another multiverse theory has its roots in string theory. String theory describes elementary particles as tiny vibrating strands of energy from which all the matter and all the forces in the universe emanate. We live in a three-dimensional world, meaning there are three directions we can move in, forwards and backward, up and down, and left and right. Einstein added a fourth dimension, time. String theory proposes the existence of additional spatial dimensions plus the three familiar ones we experience in our everyday lives. In fact, string theory proposes six additional spatial dimensions that are curled up or compactified around every point in our three-dimensional space. We can't experience these higher dimensions as they are so small, we don't have access to them, but strings do. These strings oscillate in these dimensions in vibrating patterns that go on to create the matter and forces in the universe we see around us today. String theory was a popular area for study, owing to the elegance of its mathematics and the fact that it appeared to be a theory of everything, but there existed five versions of it. M-theory came along and illustrated that these five versions were ways of looking at a more fundamental theory. M-theory also introduced one additional spatial dimension, the 11th dimension. This extra dimension allows a string to stretch into sheet-like membranes and M-theory went on to describe a hyperspace within which membranes exist with universes attached to them. These membrane or so-called brain universes make up the multiverse, and one of these brains is our very own universe. This theory also gives us its own unique explanation of how universes are born. They are born out of membrane collisions. Many World Theory Quantum mechanics describes a state of affairs where particles can be in all its possible different states simultaneously. Only once the particle is measured does it choose a definite state. 
Building on that observation, the many worlds theory suggests that in fact, when the measurement happens, the particle collapses to all its possible states, but different universes observe different results. So in universe A, you may see the particle turn up in position A, but in universe B, your clone will see the particle turn up in position B, and so on and so forth. Every time there is one or more possible option available for the universe, the universe splits and creates copies where all possible outcomes come true. So for example, there could be a world where Hitler won World War II, a world where mankind never made it to the moon, and a world where all cancers have been cured. These infinitely forking universes as described by quantum theory exist in a space known as the Hilbert space. Mathematical structure universes. In this theory, mathematics is seen as the fundamental reality over and above our observations of the universe. Rather than mathematics being a tool which we use to describe our universe, it is the universe. And the particular mathematical structure that makes up our universe isn't the only option. And in fact, all possible mathematical structures exist as their own separate universes. Criticism of the multiverse. A major criticism of multiverse theories is that we cannot devise experiments to prove its existence. So it's not science, but philosophy. In defense of the multiverse, we'll explore two arguments for the indirect evidence of the multiverse. One comes from string theory and the other from the amount of dark energy in our universe. In string theory, we imagine that the compactified additional dimensions of space twist and turn to form a clobial shape. It is conjectured that the particular geometry of our clobial shape allows strings to vibrate and oscillate to give us the exact requirements for our universe to have formed. So in essence, it is because of our specific clobial shape that the mass of the elementary particles and the strength of the different forces are what they are in our universe. But the clobial shape could have many, many variations, which would create many different string vibrations and oscillations, giving rise to many different types of universes, not just our own. This can be taken as an indirect indication that the multiverse exists. Another indirect indicator of the multiverse is the amount of dark energy that exists in our universe. This dark energy is a mysterious energy in our universe that is pushing galaxies away from each other at an accelerating rate. For our universe to exist in its current form, this dark energy has a very small, very specific value. And the question is, why does our universe have this particular value? Is there a physical reason why the value of dark energy is what it is? This question is similar to asking, why the Earth is 93 million miles away from the Sun and in the perfect spot for our planet to support life? The answer is, there is no physical reason why. It just happens to be a happy accident. Similarly, if the multiverse exists, then we are just lucky enough to have found ourselves in the universe with the specific value of dark energy that makes the existence of our universe in this particular form possible. Evidence of the multiverse. Some scientists believe that trying to find more direct evidence of the multiverse isn't as futile as it first seems. They suggest that when two or more universes are born close together, they can collide. And if this is the case, evidence for this interaction should be present in the cosmic background radiation of our own universe. The cosmic background radiation, otherwise known as the CMB, is the first light that has traveled across the universe to reach our instruments here on Earth. If universe collisions did indeed occur, then we expect to find signs of that in the CMB. And that concludes our foray into the multiverse. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video and for more informative and interesting videos, please support London City Girl by subscribing to this channel and turning on the notification bell so you always know when I have a new video out.